So you've learned C major scale hands alone, and now you're ready to put them together. The fingerings are a little trickier, but in this video, I'm gonna walk you through it step by step and show you some fingering tricks so that you're playing one octave and two octave C major scales, hands together in no time. So let's get started. To play C major scale one octave, we're gonna focus on the places where both hands play the same notes with the same fingers. And just a little bit of terminology to think about is the leading hand and the trailing hand. That's just some terminology I made up. So when we're heading up the piano, the right hand will be the leading hand, left hand is the trailing hand, and then we're, when we're heading down the piano, this will be the leading hand and this will be the trailing hand. So we're gonna start with left hand, fifth finger, right hand, thumb, and the first place both hands line up with the same fingers is going to be that third note, E. So this is gonna be our sort of first landmark fingering. At this point, the leading hand is going to cross under with the thumb, and then we're gonna keep going until the trailing hand, that's my left hand, runs out of fingers. Then my third finger is going to cross over so that the third fingers line up once again on A. I'll show that to you one more time. So from the beginning, I just keep going finger to finger until third fingers line up on E, leading hand crosses with the thumb. When trailing hand runs out of fingers, I cross with three, and I've made it to the top of the scale. Now to get back down, we're gonna use the same exact fingering trick, same exact fingering trick, just flipped with the leading hand and trailing hand. So when I'm at the top, I'm coming down, third fingers line up, leading hand crosses with the thumb, Trailing hand runs out of fingers, so I cross over with three. Threes line up again, and then we're home free. So now I'm gonna put all of that together and explain it as I go. Third fingers line up, leading hand crosses with the thumb. Trailing hand runs out of fingers, cross with three. Coming back down. Third fingers line up, leading hand crosses. Trailing hand runs out of fingers, cross with three. Threes line up, and we're done. Now to do two octave scales, it's the same fingering trick, but we're gonna add just a little bit of stuff in the middle. So we're gonna do it the same exact way that we did. Threes line up, leading hand crosses, trailing hand runs out, third finger crosses over. And now here, instead of ending with my leading hand fifth finger, I'm gonna cross again, and my thumbs are going to line up here. Now once you're in the middle, the trailing hand has to cross with fourth finger to bring me here, and then once I get to this point, the fingerings are exactly the same as they were in the first octave. So once again, third fingers line up, leading hand crosses with the thumb, trailing hand runs out of fingers, three crosses over, and I've reached the top. Now let's say we've come back down the scale and we're in the middle. Same idea, thumbs line up. Trailing hand, which is now my right hand, has to cross with four. So trailing hand for this scale will always cross with four in the middle of the two octave scale. Threes line up, leading hand crosses. Trailing hand runs out of fingers, third finger crosses over, and we've made it to the end. I'm gonna play through that scale once more just so you can see the entire thing and I'll give you the play-by-play -play as I go. So from the beginning, third fingers line up, leading hand crosses. Left hand runs out, third finger crosses, so third fingers line up again. I'm in the middle of the scale, so th both thumbs. Trailing hand crosses with fourth finger. Third fingers line up again, the leading hand crosses with the thumb. Trailing hand runs out of fingers, cross with three, so threes line up again. And then coming back down, threes line up, so leading hand crosses. Trailing hand runs out of fingers, cross, so threes line up again. Thumbs line up in the middle, and remember trailing hand has to cross with four, and then we repeat those same fingerings. Threes line up, leading hand crosses with the thumb. Trailing hand runs out of fingers, we cross with three, so threes line up again, and we've made it to the end. And that's how you play C major scale, one octave and two octaves, hands together. If you had a hard time following the video, go back, watch it again, and hit that pause button anytime you need to experiment with these fingerings. Again, focus on those places where both hands line up with the same finger and the same note, and you can't go wrong. And you can also use this fingering for a whole bunch of other scales. You can use it for G major, you can use it for D major, A major, E major, and a whole bunch of others. Just keep using that same fingering trick. 
I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button for more videos like this, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.